Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Jorge Medina Cobarubias, a man missing from Miami, Florida. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. The places I'll mention are shared with my blessing, so Jorge can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and search for, or to donate equipment. Jorge Medina Cubarubias, then 35, is missing from Miami, Florida. His last date of contact was August 22nd, 2018. The reporting party said Jorge had lived at the residence for many years with roommates, doesn't have any next of kin, and left abruptly, leaving all his belongings behind and left only with his vehicle. The reporter went on to say that Jorge called shortly after his disappearance and told him he sold his truck in Texas and that he went to Mexico. Jorge drives a white or dark green 1996 Ford F-150 with Florida license plates CZNU97 that expired in 2018. The thing with this, the registration shows the vehicle as white. However, the reporter stated the vehicle is dark green and provided a photo as such. My question is, why isn't the photo of the truck shared on the national database? Was the correct license plate on the correct truck and verified by the VIN? Was the border crossing documented in Texas? Was the vehicle title transferred? Did Jorge have a, pers a passport or what's now called the real ID for the driver's license? And then why was there a sense of urgency for him to leave if he had no family? I think he has family. The areas I would like to search first. Oh, and then I also, most importantly, was the police able to ping his cell phone to find out where the last ping actually occurred? That would help us significantly reduce the search area. If anybody can find that out for me, I'd really appreciate it. But as it stands right now, I want to look in the Miami River, Coral Gables Waterway, Coral Lake, Lake Mahar, Lake Joanne, Red-Shouldered Hawk Lake, Red-Tailed Hawk Lake, the Blue Lagoon at the airport that might be restricted, but worth a shot, Palmer Lake, and then there's the Little River and the Little River Canal number C7. If you'd like to help find Jorge, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. If you have a few cents for a cup of coffee or two, please consider donating through one of the links in the description box. It'll go toward sonar equipment and other necessities to bring people like Jorge home. The holidays will soon be upon us, and although it hasn't been said to me yet, being reunited with their loved one is one of the greatest gifts these families will receive. One of our first 300 subscribers will win a free gift card, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like an opportunity to win. Right now we're at 297, so it could easily happen on Thanksgiving. Uh, immediate donation links are in the description box. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play out for just a, another minute or two here so you can see the entire search area. If I mi missed something, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Remember, remember we love you and have a great Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm.